Good morning. Um, I would like to do a quick vlog on, some, on something that has been on my heart lately. And um, it's going to have to be very quick because Judo is right here and I don't know how long he's going to uh, sit near, near me here. Um, but, hello, do you need me? No. He does say ball. I heard him say, can you say ball? and in the... In my oven. I love you. We put some locusts in my oven. Oh, you put some locust shells in your oven. That's yeah, awesome. Those, those will be delicious later. Yeah. Um, anyhow, so um, about, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe like midway through the summer, I just got in this funk and uh, to where um, I wasn't really enjoying parenting or homemaking and I just kind of had lost my joy and... I'm going to have to make this a mobile vlog because the children are moving. Um, anyway, and I just found myself getting in just this rut of every morning getting up and doing what I knew I had to do, making breakfast for my husband, making breakfast for my children, making my husband's lunch. Those are things that I decided to start doing. Um, when I um, started staying at home and I'm really glad that I've made the decision to do that it's been really neat to just be able to serve my family in that way and um, so you know I'm doing my thing and it's just it became very robotic and um, when I first started staying at home it was like this rush um, just lots of gratification lots of satisfaction from being at home accomplishing things at home, you know, conquering the laundry or conquering, you know, a behavior with my children and it just gave me this this rush. Well, I guess maybe the honeymoon phase is over and there's Jude. Um, and I've just gotten to where I'm just doing what I have to do to um, keep the family alive and not really getting any payoff for it. Let me get Jude and then I'll come back. So anyway, it's uh, not that I stopped. Mama, I see you down there under my armpit. Hey, can you say ball? Ball? Sack. Sack? Um, and it's not that I stopped doing um, what I was supposed to be doing or I really even slacked off. I just was not getting anything from it. It was just... Uh, it became boring to me, very boring and just really monotonous. And But I found that um, in robot parenting, when you are just doing what you know you're supposed to do, it's in those times where I really believe that what you're teaching your kids, the roots are sinking really, really deep during those times because you're proving um, consistency, you're... Um, even though you can't see it, these things that you're teaching your children, like you're teaching your daughters to serve their husbands and their children one day uh, by getting up every morning, regardless of the payoff for you. Oh boy. Um, the um, dog overstimulates Jude whenever he gets hyper, so I'm going to shut the dog in here. And, um, okay, the dog's back there now. Um, you know, I'm. You know, we're doing Bible time every day, every morning, even though it's, you know, not much gratification there, um, not a lot of payoff. And it's at those times that the scriptures that you're repeating to them over and over again are, they're just melding into their memories and they're, they're becoming concrete in their, in their minds. And, um, my child is very happy this morning. Um, and you're, you're, um... I guess there, uh, the, another word that comes to mind is petrifying. Like you're petrifying these values that you're trying to instill into your um, into your children, and the only way that that happens is through monotonous over and over and over and over and again display of those values that you have for your family over and over and over again. So I guess my encouragement to you today is perseverance and faithfulness honors God. I think maybe above all and it proves to the world it proves to God that we believe that that we stand on what we believe that on what we say what we confess 
and um, that the values that we have are worth um, committing to, making a lifelong commitment to, even when there's no payoff uh, emotionally, um, there's no payoff physically, like you don't really see anything. Um, but I'm telling you, um, I'm starting to kind of come out of this funk. But I do believe that God wants us to experience joy in parenting, but it just kind of, it it changes. Like the joy and the payoff changes um, through the, through that, uh, through those stages of parenting. Like sometimes it's this rush, this excitement, this adrenaline uh, um, high. And then other times it's just a small little, um, like one morning, for instance, um, I'd gotten busy doing something and we were about to leave and Jude was like laying in my lap and we were outside waiting on the porch for, I guess, um, honey to come out. And Jude starts uh, quoting Psalm 119.11. My eye, I mean, um, I have hidden your word. And what he was saying to me was, we haven't had Bible time yet today, Mama. And so for that, that was like a, a small little payoff there. Like we're, I was reminded that, wow, it's going in. This is cool. This is really cool. But um, anyway, robot parenting is what I like to call it, where you're just you doing what which, which you've been commanded to do, um, um, almost mindlessly, um, but don't forget why you're doing what you're doing, and keep doing it, and just know during these times when there isn't any payoff that it's kind of like when a plant is growing, what you don't see underneath the soil is happening. Um, it's happening in your parenting and with your children. Those roots are just sinking deeper and deeper and deeper. The values that you're teaching them by your consistency, uh, the scriptures that you're saying to them every single day. We have four scriptures we say every single day. Psalm 119.11, John 3.16, Psalm 15.7, and Philippians 4.5. Sometimes I can get my kids to say them back to me, sometimes I can't. We sing nothing but the blood every single day. Um, those are things that, you know, they start to get old. But there will be a payoff. And um, like I said, perseverance and faithfulness are some of the greatest ways to honor God and um, to raise your children. Um, hope that encourages you all today. Have a wonderful day. Persevere. If you're in the middle of robot parenting and you just don't feel any joy or any motivation, hang in there. The joy will return. God says he, re he restores joy. I love when uh, David says, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Even David lost his joy of his own salvation. And we can lose joy in parenting, So, but God can restore it. So ask him to restore that joy. Uh, but remember, don't be motivated by the feelings or the payoff, but be motivated um, by what you're instilling in your children and that there will be a payoff. And knowing beyond what you can see that the roots are sinking deep and um, what you're doing is worth it and it's eternal. I commend all of you and just hang in there. Hope you're encouraged today.